In this video, I give you an introduction to Serato DJ and a basic overview of the layout. Find out more coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So the first time you open Serato DJ, this might be what you see. This is what you see when you don't have uh, your computer hooked up to any Serato DJ enabled device such as a controller or a mixer or a Serato uh, audio interface. This is more of a preparation screen where you would uh, fix all the ID3 tags in your songs, analyze, which I'll get into later, uh, the music to get the BPMs and the keys and such, or uh, make crates uh, or playlists for Serato. But this isn't where you actually DJ. So to get that, you're going to have to go ahead and plug in a Serato enabled device. So let me go ahead and do that now. Okay, as you can see, this looks more like a DJ software once you plug everything in. So Serato DJ can be basically broken up into, in, in my opinion, into two to three sections. Up here you have your deck section. This is uh, where you would put the... Up here you would have your deck section. This is where the actual DJing happens, where you would have the two decks or four decks, depending on uh, how many decks you're playing with. I'll switch back to two. Um, so side A, side B, deck one, deck two, however you, however you want to call it. Um, this is where you'd load one song. This is where you'd load the other song. And then you have your library section down here, where you have your library of songs. And then right here, you have your different playlists that you can uh, open up. So... For instance, I have folders full of playlists. So these are just individual playlists, or I can go up to here to all, and this is my entire DJ library. Now, what's not shown right now is uh, the panel section. So let me open that up right now. So effects, sampler, and then uh, these four buttons here open up the other panels. So your file browser, Another browser by uh, genre, BPM, artist, so you can kind of drill down your music. Prepare, this is kind of like a, um, a place where you can hold songs that you might want to play next. So you can go ahead and like drag songs in here like this and then keep searching through your library. This comes in very handy um, when going through sets and history where you can actually look up uh, what you played in the past. Maybe you had a couple songs that went really well together that you played the night before but you don't remember them off the top of your head, Serato actually saves all that information and puts them in order for you. So let me close some of these down so we have more room. Close down the effects in the sampler. So for instance, last week I played a set and here are all the songs that I played and in order. And what's cool is that you even get the time. So if you kind of remember what time you played it, um, you can just reference it here. So that's cool. Um, I've used that quite a few times, um, just messing around during practice, especially um, just messing around with different transitions. If you find something good, real nice way to see exactly what you played. So that's the basic layout of Serato. You have your deck section up here again. Uh, let me go into more depth about the deck section. I mean, you have, let me load a song for instance. You have the waveform right here. So, there's a couple different views. You have the overview right here, stripe overview. This is the entire song from start to finish. Um, this is your beat match waveform right here. If I load another song, you'll see that uh, this is deck B on this side and this is deck A on this side. Um, to beat match songs, you kind of have to line up these um, stripes, but I'll get into that in a later video as well. So for the single deck, you have the waveform right here, the deck overview, which kind of gives you the BPM, which is important in the, the time elapsed and the time remaining in the song. This right here is the pitch percentage. So um, when you're beat matching, you can see how far plus or minus percentage you move the pitch. You have your um, cue points right here, your loops right here, auto loops, and I have the, the beat jump enabled down here as well. Now you have your key lock, uh, your eject, uh, your slip mode, and you have your sensor down here as well. 
Also, you have your three modes for your decks. You have your absolute mode, which treats it more like a, a normal CD or vinyl. Uh, you have your relative mode, where you get uh, access to things like cue points, um, which you don't get in absolute mode. And through, which um, depending on what interface you have plugged in, uh, through will let you play regular vinyl or CDs through the decks. <clears throat> And then you have your internal, which actually bypasses the DVS part of Serato. So instead of playing through the CDs or vinyl, it's just playing straight through the computer and you don't have any physical control over it unless you're using uh, HID mode with uh, CDJs, which we'll get into later as well. So again, uh, Serato is a pretty simple uh, software as far as layout is concerned. There's not much going on. It's very clean, um, very easy to understand. You get your two songs. Uh, right here or four songs if you have it in um, uh, four deck mode and then you get your library where you kind of can uh, customize things is in the four different layouts in Serato you have your vertical layout which is the two songs side by side like this which kind of makes sense because this would be the first deck this would be the second deck you have horizontal which puts the two songs on top of each other so deck one on top deck two on bottom this is uh, how I usually DJ because I'm used to looking at uh, digital audio workstations such as Pro Tools or Logic or something like that. So more of a production side, you're used to seeing track one on top, track two below it, et cetera, et cetera. Then you have Extended, which extends out the, the waveform even further, keeps the horizontal layout, but gives you an, an even wider uh, overview of the waveform. If you've ever used uh, Serato Scratch Live, you had the ability to make the horizontal waveform larger, smaller, uh, this is not the case in Serato DJ any, uh, anymore. They just added this mode instead. So instead of uh, being able to change the size of the waveform in horizontal mode from like here to here, so like here to here, you now just get the, the full screen in extended mode. Then you have stacked mode, which is uh, something they added in Serato uh, Scratch Live towards the end of the that software. Where this comes in handy is if you're using four decks, this makes more sense and makes um, better use of the, your screen space because you have all four decks running side by side. It's a lot easier than looking at it this way and you don't get uh, much of a waveform overview. So I would say stacked is better if you're uh, using more than two decks. And then you have your library mode, which shrinks the decks up like that and just gives you a better overview of your entire library. So if you're really looking for a song, this is a, a great mode to look at because you can have save this open and the prepare and just have this large window to see all your music and just kind of click and drag up. And the same thing, you can click and drag up to the decks as well. So this is where um, you see kind of different views of Serato DJ. Some people that aren't used to the different views are only used to this vertical view. So when they see this horizontal, they're kind of confused like, oh, uh, what software is that? What kind of Serato is that? It's actually all the same software, um, just different DJs use it differently. I would say vertical, if you're starting, if you're just learning how to DJ, is probably the, the best way to go in my opinion because it makes the most sense visually uh, on the software. And when you look down at your controller or your turntables or your CDJs, it makes this, this sense because it kind of mirrors each other where you have this song on the left side and this song on the right side. And when you look down at your decks, it's the same thing. One Song one on the left side, song two on the right side. So if you're just starting out, this um, is my suggestion for you because it makes the most visual sense. Um, Hand-eye coordination-wise, it makes the most sense. Um, once you get used to this and once you get used to uh, looking at the software and seeing where the decks are, I would say try experimenting with the other views. It might be better for you, but I, I would say this is your best starting point. So again... Um, this is Serato DJ, uh, probably the one of the widest used DJ softwares in the world, um, definitely in America, <clears throat> uh, and for good reason. It's very simple to use, very clean layout, like I said, and just very straight to the point. So if you came from the world of vinyl or CDs before, like flash drives or anything like that, uh, this is kind of a really good bridge point where you get the added features of adding a computer and adding more to your library, but it doesn't overcomplicate DJing. And this is why I think Serato DJ is also a great software for beginners as well. It's very simple to look at and isn't overwhelming at all. 
uh, once you get used to the, the few features that you have on the screen, uh, they're super powerful once you get to know how to use them and still simple to look at and not confusing. So once again, that's Serato DJ. So that's your introduction to Serato DJ. So question of the day, what kind of deck layout do you think you're gonna use? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching P.TV, where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.